stop. Wow, I didn't know you could do that. Yep. Oh, 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 speed. Oh, oh, speed. Huh? Who did you to make this? Nobody, just me. No. <laughs> oh, yeah, speed. Tell everybody bye bye. Bye. Hey, you like. Girls, you guys like go out with speed. You gotta let them go fishing. <laughs> okay. Aloha. Hey, aloha, my. My name is Chris Seymour. I am the owner of Hilo Bike Cup. Hey, summer's coming up, and we want to get the riders out there some safety tips that'll make it a fun and enjoyable time for this year and for this summer of riding. First of all, what we'd like to do is we'd like to talk about a safety check for your bicycle before you even go out on the road, and we call it the ABC Quick Check. So what we like to do, so the A is going to stand for air in the tire. So what we want to do is, if you can pinch an inch on your tires, we're going to want to put air into the tires. So... So the easiest way, the cheater way to do this is the pinch is the inch. So I was able to be able to push down with my thumb and I got an inch. Now if you notice when I push down on this really hard, I'm barely able to move the tire tread. Also there will be a uh, tire pressure rating on the sidewall of the tire and make sure to use a pump that has a gauge. That way that will keep you from exploding your tire. Second of all, so B, we like to go with the brakes. And so what we'll do is we'll grab the brake. Now, proper brake lever, you should only be able to grab it and only squeeze in about halfway. It's starting to grab the front. However, if you, uh, if you tend to ride it and then you are able to grab the brake lever where it touches the entire handlebar, you need to adjust your brakes. So to adjust our brakes, we'll go here and you can use this little adjuster on your brake lever to tighten up the brake. That way when you squeeze the lever at the halfway mark, it's going to uh, be able to stop you in traffic. Number C, we like to talk about the chain. And so we wanna have a nice lubricated chain. We hate to have that ugly brown stuff, otherwise known as Ku Kai Hao. That's rust. So if you ever have any rust, we wanna be able to put a little bit of lubricant on the chain. Next, what we like to do is do a check kind of quickly check over. We're gonna grab the handlebars, make sure the handlebars are tight. They're not moving. Then we'll like to go to the seat. Oh, the seat moves. Oh, that wouldn't be so much fun. So we'll wanna go ahead and tighten up the seat. Most bicycles will use an Allen wrench or a quick release lever to be able to tighten up the saddle. So the seat post will be able to tighten it with a wrench like so. Try to turn the seat again. We're good to go. And then last but not least, we'll go ahead and grab the brake levers again. Make sure that the bike will stop. Very, very good. Both tires are filled up with air and then the tire is gonna roll. All right, next, before we get out and we're gonna make it out to the road, we need to have the proper safety of tires. So, um, helmets are a law for under 16 years old. So if you're under 16 years of age, you need to get a helmet. And helmets are required so it'll protect your head. You wanna put it on straight and adjust it so that you have very little bit of strap movement. That bright colors with the helmet, it'll make it so you're very, very visible. We also like to wear bright shirts and if you end up tending to ride at nighttime, we also wanna have a light that you can put a red flashing light on the rear and a white steady light on the front. So next from there, when you're out there riding on the road, you have to always ride with traffic. Um, statistically, the number one way to get into an accident with an automobile is riding the wrong way against traffic. Only runners are allowed to go against traffic when you're on the roadway. So make sure you always ride with traffic and you always ride in single file. If you end up riding side by side, you could end up impeding traffic behind you and you'll irritate the people that you're riding bicycles around. Also, always make sure to use um, signals, be predictable. The most predictable cyclist will be the safest cyclist. So when you come to an intersection, make sure you stop. If you're gonna go make a left-hand turn, use your arm signals, be able to put your hand out, show everybody what you're gonna do by doing that. That will allow the driver to be able to anticipate what you're going to be able to do as a cyclist. Also, car drivers, when we're out on the roadways, try to give the cyclist at least three feet of room between your car and your bicyclist. Because a bicyclist, it's really scary for us out there if we see the cars coming too close to us. So please, help us out. 
try right to and if you have any other cycling needs uh, or any questions please call us here at Hilo Bike Hub 961-4452 or you can check us out on the web helobikehub.com and on Facebook at Hilo Bike Hub Inc. Hey, have a great summer. Mahalo nui loa. Mahalo for coming to Hilo Bike Hub. Aloha. Wow, I'm so excited. I see one of my relatives over at Riley. So this guy here, he's shopping. He came all the way from a wall. Hey, so how you like the big island? I love it. It's great. I love it. And it's lots of lots, um, lots of rain, but <laughs> <laughs> it's nice. So, uh, you know, we can shop at KTA and buy all the good things. So who do you have here? Also my girlfriend, Sherry Yamashiroya. Hey, Sherry. Yeah. Okay, so I noticed you got all kinds of stuff here. I cannot believe. <laughs> and they buy so much ice cream. Look, Klondike ice cream bars. You have. Yeah, you like that? Mochi ice cream, she <laughs> like mochi ice cream. Okay, she had buyer's ice cream. Oh, you have, oh, you have uh, Baskin and Robbins. Yeah. <laughs> huh? And yep. this is a Hilo famous snow cream. Yup, this is good, I love this one. This one's good. Yeah, 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 yeah. What is this? Magnum. This is your favorite. Yeah. Eh? Good humor. Oh yeah. man, this guy, they buy so much ice cream. And I know who this is for her. <laughs> yeah. 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 Yep, oh, this is for her. Oh, this is for her. Oh man. And we have some Okuhara Saimi. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, do you know how to make the Okuhara Saimi? Yep, add uh, hot water and you're good to go. Oh, okay, and um, there you go. put them in the oven. <laughs> for what? Maybe like two minutes? And oh, I tell you what, man. You guys would do, you guys won't yeah. be starving. Nope. And here. Huh? Yeah, the mac and cheese. Yeah, the mac and cheese. <laughs> okay, it's so really yeah. Good. All the way from a while. Yep. What do you want to tell everyone out there? Uh come to KTA and get all your good stuff. Okay, right on. Okay, let's give the shaka. Come on. Today we are at the Paneva Rainforest Zoo and also Bot Botanical Gardens and Equestrian Center. And here with me is Pam Mizuno, the manager, sporting her beautiful Paneva Zoo shirt here. But Pam, can you tell us about the facility? Well, the facility is owned by the County of Hawaii under yeah. Parks and Recreation. Okay. And we are open 363 days of the year. Uh, and we have some noisy people here, yeah? uh, residents. <laughs> we do, we have a lot of parrots here and Einstein who you can hear is very loud. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then Pam, I understand this is one of the greatest bargains here in Hawaii County. It's such a beautiful facility, you got real glamorous kind of uh, animals, yeah, and it's all for free? It's all free. There's yeah. no charge. It's <laughs> free, open to the public from 9 to 4 every day. Seven days a week? Seven days a week. We I only see. close Christmas and New Year's Day. I see. You know, we'll be taking a look at the uh, your newest residence, uh, the Cubs, yeah? The, the Tiger Cubs. Cubs. But anyway, uh, understand you're having a special program. The Friends of the Zoo is yeah. having a tiger e t summer tiger event on yeah. July 2nd, Saturday. Oh, I see. The tigers um, will be coming out of their quarantine, so they'll mm -hmm. be able to have the whole enclosure and come out. Yeah, they'll be out in their big, huge acreage in their yes. exhibit. Yeah. Pam, tell us uh, your other attractions here that you, I know you have so many plants, botanical uh, garden. You even have a petting, petting zoo. We have petting zoo on Saturday from 1.30 to 2.30. Mm -hmm. um, our botanical collection has uh, lots of palms mm -hmm. and bamboo and orchids. Mm -hmm. And uh, we also have our, our newest exhibit is the alligators. Pam, I'd like to shake your hand. You guys are doing such a great job out here, you know, and then once again, we'd like to remind the public, yeah, it's a free facility. Pam. It's the best bargain on the island <laughs> for everyone. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Folks, I'm with Pat Engelhardt, former director of Parks and Recreation, 
And she's now the president of the Fans of the Zoo here at the Panevari Park Zoo. You know, Pat, uh, pardon my ignorance, but are these tigers or lions? Or? They are Bengal tigers. <laughs> I see. And, and how old are they? Uh, they are 11 months old now. Oh, I see. And, and uh, they both fem male, female? No, the orange one is a female. Her I name see. is Sriracha. Uh -huh. And the white one is a male, his name is Tsatsiki. I see. You know, Pat, we're noticing they love to play with boxes and uh, uh, water. Uh, are, are, they, uh, are these their toys? Yes. <laughs> um, just like, Every day they play. <laughs> yeah, just, like, just, just like regular cats, they <laughs> like to play with foxes. I regular see. cats don't particularly care for water, but tigers are very adept yeah. at, at swimming and <laughs> being in water. <laughs> Are they very timid? You know. Oh no. Oh. Well, actually, they they might be sometimes, but mm -hmm. Tzatziki is actually uh, um, the more uh, relaxed of the two tigers, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and then Sriracha is a little bit more aggressive. Mm -hmm. And so uh, they. And, and what they night. fed once a day? They're fed in the afternoon. I see. So the public, can they come and view the, the feeding? Not right now. Oh, we're I not, see. We did it for Namaste and that was yeah. a big hit, but uh -huh. we're still trying to get them settled and so not right now. Oh. And Pat, we understand you have another new resident at the zoo and it's an American alligator? We have two of them and they arrived earlier this month. Two of them? Two of I them, see. yeah. Male and female? No, both females. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yeah. And where did they come from? They came from Colorado of all places. Oh, it's an I see. unusual place to have alligators, but that's where they came I from. See. Tell us a little more. How old are they and how 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 much larger they they will be growing? Oh, well, we hope they'll grow a little larger but not too mm. much larger and they are between five and ten years old. I see. Yeah, they're uh they're a, a welcome addition to the zoo. We, uh, we've been waiting for them for quite some time. Wow, man, it is summertime, Makena. So what are you doing this summer, Makena? Traveling. Oh, traveling. You're always traveling. Where are you going? I'm going to Japan, and then I'm going to Indianapolis for volleyball. Wow. And you know me, I'm staying home, but you know, I'm so, so happy that I got all these different kind of milk that's all going to be on sale at KTA. I got like, true moo. Should I say moo? Moo. Ah. <laughs> Boring kind moo. You got to go, moo. Come on, come on, come on. Moo. <laughs> that's the one. That's a true moo. Yeah. And I got different kind of milk. We said, Madago Dairy Pure Buttermilk. Yeah, this is great for cooking. Okay. Okay, what is this? Oh yeah, what do you use half and half for? You see, eh? everybody use half and half in their coffee, yeah? Makes it super rich. Okay, here. Yeah. This is um, whipped cream. Use this for what? Baking, baking. Yeah, your mom always used meat whipped cream for baking, yeah? <laughs> and we got Metago on Mountain Apple brand, skim milk, half gallon and gallon. It's all gonna be on sale at KTA. Because when you're home, you drink milk, you get full of calcium. Summer body. <laughs> summer body. You get the summer body, eh, Makena? You see? Eh? Good body, eh? Protein. Yeah, exactly. And for you, what you got there? Mountain apple brand, passion orange, yeah, nectar. It's all on nectars on sale. What else? And I have. 100% orange juice. Yeah, you like orange juice. No, you drink orange juice quite a bit. Yeah. For breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Okay, and then you have uh, yogurt I see over there. Halpia yogurt. Yeah, yogurt is always good because you, even you can yeah. You can prepare yogurt for breakfast. Yeah, you just open it and put some granola <laughs> yeah, and, you know, on the go. Okay, so even Makena can make yogurt for breakfast. <laughs> Fantastic. It's all going to be on sale at KTA. And uh, what do we tell everyone out there? Have a happy summer. Have a happy summer. Wow, I'm here at Ace Hardware Store in Hilo, and it's an exciting place, and it's Father's Day. All of you, man, come into Ace, because you can find something for your dad. 
And if you need any kind of repairs at home, you come to Ace because Ace is the place. Come, let me show you exactly what I mean. Hey, guess what, man? Just go in here in Ace and I see it. Farias, Mr. Farias says, so hey, what you got there? Well, I'm gonna paint a stove and a refrigerator. Oh, let me see what you got. Wow, and you found this at Ace. Oh, you find everything in Ace. Yeah, you go, Ace is a place. Ace is a place for a handy. Okay. Hardware, well, something like that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, hey, you know what? Then we'll give the shot up. <laughs> yes, the one. Hey, guess what, man? Who we see here at Ace? The man, Aikido man. So, hey, what are you doing here in Ace? Uh, looking for a spray bottle. Oh, what are you going to do with the spray bottle? I have a uh, black mold on my wall, shower wall, so I have to take it off. Oh, okay. So you can find them in Ace? Yes, I can. Yeah, is Ace the place? Yes, Ace is the place. Okay, give the shot. <laughs> Man, I get excited when I see women here shopping in Ace. So, hey, what are you looking for? Uh, things to bur build a bird cage. Oh, a bird cage. Well, you got bird. Yes, I get three. Oh, you got three birds, eh? Okay, so what, you found things there? You found uh, you found things here at Ace? Yes. Is Ace is the place? Yes. Ace is the place. Hey, by the way, you want to say something out there to all the fathers or your father? I want to say happy Father's Day to my husband, Ryan Sabate. Hey, Ryan, happy Father's Day. Come on, wave, 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 wave. Eee. Hey, I'm not a happy customer. What you found here at Ace? Uh, I found some paint, uh, do some uh, homework uh, at the house. Oh, do go there, you eh? uh, Yeah, yeah, honeydew pro project. <laughs> honeydew, honeydew. <laughs> so what, is Ace the place? Ace the place, okay, yeah. Yep. Ace, Ace is the, the place. <laughs> honeydew work. <laughs> honeydew, honeydew projects. <laughs> wow, man, we get Kikoa, employee Ace. Great service, Kikoa. Awesome service, all day, every day. You know it, Ace is the place. You see, I told you. Again, come on down to Ace. And let's say everyone out there, happy Father's Day. Happy Father's Day, guys. Happy Father's Day from Kikoa, myself, and for all the people at Ace Hardware Store. Awesome. Hey, guess what, man? I see my friend here, Kiana, man. Hey, she goes to what school? Hilo Union. Hilo Union, what grade? Fifth grade Fifth now. grade now. Okay, so Kiana, so it's June, so uh, what are you going to do this summer? Go to Maui. Wow! Why, why Maui? Who are you going to see? My tutu. Oh, that's so nice. Your tutu going to be so happy. And why? Well, see what you're buying over there. I have cheese and a protein snack. Oh, you eat healthy, eh? And you know what Uncle Derek has? Yeah. He has a big cheese, yeah, because I'm the big cheese. Yeah? And I also have some Oscar Mayer 